Namaste, everyone. Welcome to Eight Lotus Wellness. Uh, my name is Lizelle. I am a yoga instructor, massage therapist, and sound vibrational healer. Uh, here at Eight Lotus, we offer yoga, dance, Pilates, massage, and uh, Reiki. So hopefully you can come and visit us here at Eight Lotus. Um, today, we are going to practice some uh, mindful mood movement, um, also uh, beginner's yoga, and we are going to go low with the breath. So gently bringing your palms together right into the heart center. We're going to begin our practice with one unifying ohm. It's the sound vibration of the earth. Find your exhalation. Inhale to ohm. Uh, Coming to that breathing, deep inhale to your nose, long exhale to your nose, Ujjayi breath, bring the navel back to the spine, lifting the heart as you rest your hands to the top of your knee, deep inhale and long exhale, feel the sensation in your body, feel the each uh, vertebrae unlocking at this moment. Deep inhale and long exhale. And then gently bringing your left hand to the top of your heart and right hand to the below the navel. I would like to uh, assist you with a uh, fourth part breathing. We inhale to the belly one, chest two, Three to the head, four, and hold, and then exhale from the head, chest, navel back to the spine. We're gonna do this just to bring our body and mind at once. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, big belly, chest, head, pause, exhale, head, chest, pause, let's go ahead and go with our own flow, inhaling and exhaling, Begin to let go of your weekends, your week, today, and just be here, be present, be now. Take a couple more breaths. One more breath. And slowly release your hands to the side body. We're gonna gently extending our right hand and slowly tilting to our left. Inhaling and exhaling. Navel back to the spine, looking up. And then exhale. We're gonna inhale, ground the left, extending. Inhale and exhale. Let's do a dynamic movement here with your own breath. 
reaching and extending, tilting, grounding the sit bone. back to the center let's go ahead and gently navel back to the spine inhale and twist to your right side left hand to the top of your right knee and then your right hand behind you and look into that shoulder we'll do about three breaths here And back to the center, inhale, lift, exhale, twist to your left side. Right hand to the top of your left knee, gaze into the left shoulder. And back to the center, let's do one more. Inhale, lift and twist little sip of air your twist goes all the way where your gaze are exhale release let's do it one more time twisting is really good for detoxifying and release let's go ahead and inhale sweep your hands all the way up to the sky and gently planting your hands we're gonna come to all fours so all fours your shoulder is over your wrist and your hips is over your knee your foot is nice and grounded the top of your foot we're gonna do cat and cow here so the cat and cow is you're gonna let your belly down to the floor as you tilt your tailbone up and looking up exhaling rounding the spine tuck your chin spine is all the way up to the sky Let's do a few more of this movement. This helps and assists to warm up the spine. Really good for back pain. So belly down to the floor as you look up like you're arching and then exhaling, rounding the spine. Take a couple more breaths here with your own flow of energy. And back to the center. To give your wrist a, a little bit of rest, you can go to Balasana, which is child pose. You can widen your knee as wide as your yoga mat big toes are touching uh, navel back to the spine then slowly bringing your chest and your um, forehead down to the top of your mat connecting your heels and your glutes this is a nice resting pose and also beneficial to open up the hips if you have a really tight hips this is one of the most asana that people go for one more breath inhale coming back to all fours shoulder over the wrist hip over the knee navel back to the spine we're gonna inhale extending the right hand reaching and then left leg are 
uh, pushing to the back of the wall. The whole torso is nice and straight. Engaging the core, you're gonna inhale and exhale here for three breaths. It's a issue with the balance. And exhale, release. Let's do the other side. Extending the left hand, right leg. Breathe. Three breaths. And release. Now this time, we're gonna extend the right and the left leg. Gently bending your knee. And we're gonna sweep the right hand, grabbing the top of your left foot. Slowly kicking. A nice gentle back bending here. Uh, the quad is nice and active, stretching, looking up. Inhale, extend, exhale, release. Let's do the other side, extending the left and the right leg. Bend the right knee, sweep, grab the top of your foot. Inhale, kick your foot as you lift the chest up. Inhale, exhale, release. Let's go ahead and come to Balasana with your knee together, heels together, bringing your uh, sacrum connected to the heels, your sit bone, and then slowly bringing your chest all the way to the top of your quad. And rising up, coming back to all fours. Gently tuck your toes under and lift your hip up. This is going to be your first down dog. So gently pedal your feet, move your hips side to side. And then from here, let's, work, work, let's talk about the foundation. The foundation is the sole of your feet, grounded. And the back of your legs are nice and straight, if you can. Tail up to the sky, hollow the belly. Wrap your shoulder. Palms is nice and grounded. And let go of your neck. The crown of the head are pointing to the top of your mat. Let's take about three breaths here. Inhale slowly, let's walk our feet all the way to the top of our mat. Forward fold. Grab your elbow and rock side to side. Allow yourself to really drape the whole upper body to the top of your thigh. Gently release your hands down to the floor. Inhale, back is nice and flat. You're gonna lift the upper body up. Exhale, forward fold. Gently roll your whole uh, upper body, vertebrae by vertebrae. And come to Tandasana. Tandasana is a really nice to ground, channeling, channeling the energy from earth, rising up from the feet, to your legs, to your torso, all the way to the crown of your head. Inhaling and exhaling here, gathering your energy. We're gonna do Suya Namaskara A. I like to do classic. So let's go ahead and inhale, sweep your hands all the way up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, tilting into the waistline. Inhale, back is nice and flat. Exhale, we're gonna step our right foot back as far as we can, and we're gonna release our right knee down to the floor. 
you can stay right here or if you want to go a little bit extended on your practice you can come up here or bring your hands all the way up to the sky exhale forward fold ground your hands step your left foot back we're gonna do eight limb step you're gonna hug your elbow to your ribs as you bring your chin down and scooping up for Bugan Jasana, Cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift for high plank, and then lift your tail up to the sky for down dog. We're gonna do three breaths here. Inhale and exhaling, Ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath brings that warmth into the body natural heater to burn one more breath slowly resting your left knee down to the floor stepping your right foot forward and sink your hips inhale you can stay here here or here this is your practice listen to your body and then exhale, release, ground your hand, tuck your left toes under, lift the hip up, step that left foot forward, forward fold, back is nice and flat. Exhale, reverse swan dive, sweep your hands all the way up, palms together, hands to the heart. Let's do the other leg. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way up, Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back is nice and flat. Exhale, forward. Step the left foot back. Release the left knee. You know where you're going. Flow with your own breath. Step the right. Chin down. Scoop up for Bhuganjasana or up dog. Tuck your toes under. Lift the hip up for down dog. This time we're going to rest the right knee, step the left foot forward, inhale, sweep your hands all the way up, exhale forward, tuck your right toes under, step the right, align with the left, forward fold, back is nice and flat, exhale, reverse one leg, sweep your hands. Now, we're going to do um, Surya Namaskara B. Inhale, we're going to come to Ukatasana, chair pose. So, bringing your hip down as you sweep your hands all the way up to the sky. Palms together, exhale forward. Inhale, back is nice and flat. Exhale, ground your hands, step the right foot, left foot. I like to bring my knee down to the floor as I bring my chin down and scoop up for um, Bhuganjasana and then tuck your toes under, lift the hip up. So the you extend the right leg and step that right foot between your hands. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way up for warrior one. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Left leg. Step forward and through. For warrior one. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Down dog for five breaths. Inhale, walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Sink your hips, come to Ukatasana. Rise up. Hands to the heart. All right. 
This time we're gonna come back to Tandasana. As you ground your feet, you lift your knee up, tilt your pelvis to the front, reaching your fingertips all the way up to the side, reaching down, lift the heart, deep inhale, and long exhale. and slowly reaching your fingertips all the way up to the sky. We're gonna do a nice crescent moon. Inhaling, tilting into your right side. Looking up. And back to the center. Tilting to the right side, to the left side. Looking up, sorry. And then back to the center. And slowly release your hands to the side body. You're gonna roll your shoulder back and front. We're gonna practice on Ukatasana. Ukatasana is a chair pose. Really good to work on the quad and the pelvic floor. So gently grounding your feet, bending your knee like you're sitting. You can bring your hands behind you like uh, your downhill ski and slowly sweep your hands all the way up to the sky till your pelvic to the front. Take about three breaths here. And slowly rising up, palms together, gentle back bending, hands to the heart. Bring your hands to the side body. We're going to do Warrior One. Warrior One is the basic uh, of your asana. You're going to step your left foot back with your right knee. So the hip is nice and square to the front of your yoga mat. Your right knee is nice and bent. Knee and heel should be nice and aligned. Left foot is grounded. With your pinky, you're going to inhale gently, extending your fingertips all the way up to the sky. Three breaths. Using your core, step that left foot, align with the right. Let's do step the right leg back, bending the left knee, squaring the hips, right heel is wrapping, pinky to the floor, sink your hips, navel back to the spine, lift the heart. And slowly step that right back to the center. This time we're going to bring our hands to the heart center. We're going to step that left foot back. And we're going to twist to the left side. We're going to work on the warrior one. So warrior, warrior, we work on warrior one. We're going to work on warrior two this time. You're going to inhale. Make sure that the right knee, you can see your big toe from the inside of your right knee and the left foot is nice and straight and wrapping the pinky. You're gonna inhale, sweep your hands all the way. Right hand palms up and reverse. Inhale back to the center. Palms resting the forearm part, pressing to the top of your left quad. And then inhale, sweep your right hand up to the sky. And breathe. And release. Waterfalls. Step the left foot back. Chaturanga. Inhale. And exhale. Down dog. Mm. 
Now we're going to transition to the sitting poses. Let's do Tadasana. Grounding your hands to the side, lifting the chest. The back of the legs is nice and grounded, flexing your feet. Inhale and exhale. Inhale slowly, we're gonna come forward. You're gonna walk your hands to the top of your shin, lifting the chest up as you come forward. Inhale slowly, coming back to the center. We're gonna bend the right knee. The sole of the feet are connecting to the inner thigh. Inhale, extend, hold the belly, come forward. Slowly. Inhale slowly, coming back up, grabbing that right ankle, you're going to cross to your left leg, we're going to twist to the right, so with your left hand, you're going to grab the right knee, and then right hand behind you, and twist. back to the center release let's do the other side inhale and exhale forward cross the left leg Inhale, lift, left hand behind you, right hand grabbing the knee, and twist. And back to the center, let go of your leg, shake it all up. We're gonna do Nabasana. So Nabasana is bending your knee, you can ground your feet, hands, palms up. You're going to plug your shoulder and lean back. Belly to the spine. You can stay here or here or here for three breaths. And then slowly bring the sole of your feet together. And just gently making a nice circle of your torso, unwinding to the left and then to the right. Let's do one more. Inhale, ground your feet, knee bend, and palms up to the side, plug your shoulder. Lean back, stay here, here or here. And release. Let's do a nice cat and cow. Sitting. So you inhale, look up, exhale round the spine. Exhale around this point. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and gently, we're gonna lay on the floor. I'm gonna bring my head that way. Slowly laying back down. Vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae. up. 
pressing your whole body down to the floor. You're gonna ground your left leg as you bend your right knee and bring your knee to your chest, hugging yourself, tuck your chin, flexing. Inhale and exhale here. Now the semi is just going to release a little bit and then you're going to bring that right knee to your right under it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale back to the center, knee to the chest. See if you can go deeper, plugging that hip bone. Now gently straight that right leg, grab the hamstring. Inhale. And exhale. Then slowly lifting the upper body up and release your legs and your upper body down. Let's do the other side so we're even. Left knee to the chest, hug, tuck your chin, flex your feet. Knee to the armpit. the center. Left leg up. Clash your fingers behind you. Lift the upper body up. And slowly release. You should wipe on your feet, move side to side, bend both of your knees. We're gonna bring the feet outside of the yoga mat. You're gonna bring both of your knees right into the center. So this one you're uh, rotating inner thigh. You can feel the hip bone, the joint, the rotation inward. And then slowly release both of your knee to the right side. The right ankle floated to the top of your left uh, quad. You can bring your hands to the side body. And just allow yourself that left shoulder grounding as both of your right knee is grounding onto the floor. You can feel it right into the lower back to the waistline. Even the psoas muscle. Slowly resting that right foot down. Bring both of your knee back to the center. Resting both of the knee to the left. Floating the left to the right quad. Deepening that practice. You can feel the stretching from the lower back to the waistline into that quad. To around the right shoulder.
come back to the center. This time we're gonna do a heel toe, heel toe. Bring the heels closer to the glutes. Your feet and your knee is hip width apart. We're gonna do a bridge. It's a nice back bending to open up the, the hips and the chest at the same time. So gently, you're going to lift your hip up to the sky using your quad, tucking your chin, tilting the pelvic floor, navel back to the spine. And slowly release. This time we're gonna inhale as you sweep your hands over your head. You're gonna lift your hip up as well. And release. Beautiful. You can bring your knee to your chest. Rock side to side. We're going to do a nice figure four. It's a reverse um, pigeon. So with your bent knee, you're going to bring your right foot over the top of your left quad. Right hand between your legs. Left hand outside. You're going to grab your shin bone. Resting the back of your legs as you draw your knee to your chest. Three breaths here. And then lift the upper body up. And exhale, release. And then twist to your left side. Gently twisting. Ground the right shoulder. Back to the center. Release the right foot, left foot to the top of your right quad left hand between your legs right hand outside grab the shin and then lift the upper body up and release twist to your right side ground the left shoulder Inhale, back to the center. Release your left foot down. Bring both of your knees to your chest, rock side to side. We can grab the outside of your feet for a happy baby. Tuck your chin, draw your knee. And slowly release, bringing the sole of your feet together for a supine butterfly. Sole of the feet are grounded together. Knee is open wide. Hands to the side of your body. Tuck your chin. Grounding the spine.
And then we're gonna come to Sabashana. Sabashana is the most important of your asana. It's the resting pose. Gently straightening your legs one at a time. Grounding your heels. The back of your legs. Your sacrum. Your lumbar area. The thoracic. The back of your arms. The back of your neck. The cervical. Release and let go of your whole body to the top of your mat, to the floor, back down to earth. And know that you have nothing to worry about. You are fully supported. Let's go ahead and gently bring some movement to our fingers and our toes. Move your head side to side. Drawing both of your knee back to your chest, hugging yourself one more time. And roll onto your right side for a nice fetal position. And gently assist yourself and come back to the sitting. You can come back to the sitting. How we started our practice. Your heels into Sukhasana. Heels are nice and aligned. Sit bone is nice and grounded. We're going to close our practice. Gently bring our palms together into a prayer mudra right into the heart center. I invite you to close your practice with one unifying Om. Three Shanti. Shanti means peace. And another shanti, uh, Om to close it. So gently find your exhalation. Inhale to own. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. The love and light in me, honor and respect the love and light in you. Thank you for joining me. Smile. Namaste.
Namaste everyone. My name is Lizelle from 8 Lotus uh, Wellness. We are located on 2180 Makolok Boulevard, Suite 102. We do um, yoga, pilates, massage, reiki. Also, uh, we offer um, different kind of kids yoga, family yoga, and um, come and join us. Our phone number is 928-208-7477. Also, you can find our website at www.thestudioandspa.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikki Nickel, and today's program was brought to you by the Lake Havasu Area Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by a special grant from the Arizona Governor's Office. For more helpful content, click on the link below, right in the description.